हेलो वॉरियर्स थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग मी फॉर दिस एपिसोड ऑफ स्टैंड फॉर एस वीडियो हिप इज अ कॉमन जॉइंट इन्वॉल्व विथ एंकिलोजिंग स्पॉटिलाइटिस टूडे लेट इज है लुक एट हाउ द हिप गेट्स इन्वॉल्व वॉट प्रॉब्लम वॉट सिम्टम्स डज इट कॉज हाउ इज इट डायग्नोज एंड हाउ बेस्ट वी कैन टेक केयर ऑफ द हिप दैट इज इन्वॉल्व बिकॉज ऑफ एंकिलोजिंग स्पॉटिलाइटिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हिप जॉइंट इट इज अ बॉल एंड सॉकेट जॉइंट the socket is this acetabulum bone which is a part of the pelvic bones and the ball is a part of the femur or the thigh bone the joint from inside is lined by a membrane called as the synovial membrane that you can see here and the bones are lined by a thin smooth cartilage which helps in easy movement at the joint what happens in ankylosing spondylitis is there is inflammation of the synovial membrane the synovial membrane becomes inflamed becomes swollen and that is what causes the hip pain this phase is called as hip synovitis so the normal joint which looks like this the synovium now gets inflamed thickened red like this and as i said this is the responsible for the pain at the joint it is a deep seated pain which is aggravated by movements at the hip folding the thigh at the hip makes the pain bad and at times it is even difficult to do so over a period of time if this synovitis if this joint inflammation the synovial inflammation is not controlled it then starts actually eating away the cartilage that is there in, inside so whenever there is pressure on the joint whenever one is walking since the cartilage is eaten up eroded the two bones actually rub against each other and this is what causes further pain in the joint the initial phase that we saw is the synovitis phase now this is a reversible phase with medicines this can resolve the osteoarthritis phase since the cartilage is worn out eroded may not be fully reversible so this is where the irreversible component comes into picture how do we diagnose it two imaging modalities can which can help us diagnose patients with hip involvement in ankylosing spondylitis one is the x ray second is the mri mri looks at the synovial thickening mri shows us the synovial inflammation and pick up the synovitis phase in a very early, at a very early stage whereas x ray mainly looks at the bones and will pick up only the osteoarthritis phase so if we depend only on the x ray we'll pick up the joint involvement quite late at the osteoarthritis phase as you can see here what is seen in the x ray actually is the cartilage makes up the space between the two bones in osteoarthritis the cartilage is eroded bone out so the space between the two bones reduces and the bones start looking irregular this is the thigh bone and this is the acetabulum and you can see clear normal space between the two bones if you see here as you can see this bone has become irregular has a shaggy border this bone again has a irregular margin and as you can see the space between the two bones has reduced so this is osteoarthritis which is indirectly picked up on x ray as decrease in the joint space of the hip what can we do for this how best can we treat this it is best to pick up the hip involvement in the early synovitis phase as i said this is a treatable reversible phase nsaids dmards biologics can reduce the synovitis and take care of hip affection early on if it is not treated well it goes into the osteoarthritis phase and if it is very severe it may not respond to any medication and one may require total hip replacement at that stage exercises play an important role in all the phases the synovitis phase as well as the osteoarthritis phase to reduce the pain and continue with the flexibility of the joint so as we have seen it is best to treat the 
hip affection of ankylosing spondylitis early on in the synovitis phase and not let it drag on to the osteoarthritis phase. So next time if you have pain in the hip, report it to your rheumatologist at the earliest so that necessary actions can be taken and osteoarthritis prevented. Thank you very much for joining me. Let us meet next week for a fresh episode of Stand for AS video. Thank you.